Supergirl Season 4, Episode 10, titled Auspicious Minds. And this episode is a very different type of episode, definitely for a mid series premiere. Because in the last episode, or second last episode, the, you know, because episode 9 was Elseworlds, uh, in episode 8, the president says to Supergirl, reveal your secret identity, reveal who you are. Uh, Kara says no, and Kara exit out and quits being part of the year. And at the beginning, I was like, you know what? This whole idea of like just Supergirl going solo and and doesn't have a DEO for me. I, you know, I personally, I'm like, I kind of like it. You know, a solo Supergirl. But. But this is the episode that doesn't have much Supergirl in, in a show called Supergirl. This is all about the DEO, and it's all about what is the DEO like without Supergirl, and and having a and what it's like for Alex to have a let's be honest a Amanda Waller type character, um, who. It, it, it does feel like a bit of like we would like to use a male waller but we can't because may, maybe just for certain reasons um maybe for, because we're still playing make a suicide squad 2 i don't know but you know what for alex what is that like because the whole episode while we have a threat was the threat are uh aliens who are visible because of a b and c don't want to hit spoilers with this but with because of that the wall let's be honest this alex's boss is not about a male walla is trying to find out who is supergirl so they can use that as language as in if you ever cross if we ever cross paths again we will just reveal your identity to the world and that for me was an interesting part because you understand like you know the villain part is just there to move the plot along and you can have some action scenes and stuff and it's like, it's like you know it's it, they're just there to move the plot along but the whole supergirl identity thing you are curious about is at the end of the episode are they go is she going going to find out is the wall not going to find out what's happening and and then you of course you got the ending which is not I'm not going to spoil the ending which was so um like different and you know me saying the words like hey you know the idea of a, a, a supergirl going solo it's a little bit of like be careful what you wish for but of course they hint some things of like okay Carl Carl is not going to be alone forever you got um Mira who is thinking becoming dreamer uh which is gonna be awesome i mean i think they at least the first image of her um in costume so it'll be interesting to see what it looks like in motion and stuff in those lines um but but you know i and of course i really enjoy the the mia character and and the election between her and, and Brainy or Brainy at five is quite um I a the moment they started talking I'm like, oh this is so cute and sweet and all that. And it, there's a little bit of reference to Brainiac. And not mean you know, Brainiac Five, I mean the actual like the main the main guy. The the Brainiac. The the OG Brainiac because how um you know, Brainy was meant to be the was meant to be evil like the like the other four, but yeah, this one this is uh, at the beginning I felt way really weird watching it just because it felt like the whole time I was questioning where's Supergirl, where's Kara, but that but at the end I was like you know what this is perfect this is rightly so, and um, yeah this is not a bad mid series opener I won't I won't lie.